Welcome folks, today we're gonna shoot a cinematic B-roll coffee sequence using the iPhone 14 Pro. So let me show you what kind of setup we have going on here. So I have my favorite DeLonghi machine, which my brother who's currently filming the behind the scenes will be creating coffee with. And I have these two LED panels that I got from iFootage. They were happy to send me those. And I also wanna thank them for sponsoring this video and making it possible. Oh, don't you love coffee? This is the PL180BN and this is the PL180C. Both are bicolor lights. However, this one offers full RGB color adjustments, which is great if you do more creative shoots like we're doing right now. I've set it to a blue tone shining onto the top of the kitchen. We have one here that is set to 5,600 Kelvin shining onto the table. And I also turned the kitchen light on just to um, have that warm orange color tone, which again helps with the separation. We also have this black sheet over here, which uh, prevents the light from spilling everywhere because I have a lot of white walls. Because it's raining outside and there's not much light coming in, I decided to darken everything. And also this way I have a more controlled lighting environment and I can really create that look that I'm going for. Because if your exposure constantly changes, it could ruin your shot. Both have an 80 watt output you can see that they're small and compact, which also makes it great to bring along. And these are really high quality lights, which means you can also shoot at a higher frame rate. All the shots that I will be taking will be shot in 4K 60 frames per second. And using these lights will allow me to shoot flicker free. Now, both of these come with special effects. The PL80C actually has 19 special effects, while this one over here, the PL180BN, only comes with 10 special effects, which really allows you to be more creative with your shoot. And on this one, we're actually using a V-mount battery. You know, they offer three power supplies, which is really great. They come with these white uh, panels, which creates also a soft look in your video. So you could also use it uh, for content creation or for talking head videos. And they also include these barn doors, which is really important, especially for this shoot, to have more control of the light so that it doesn't spill all over the place. Now, the cool part is that you can connect both of these with your iPhone using the iFootage Lumen app. This is a really intuitive app. And when I click on one, let's go with the ADC, you know, set the color, adjust the intensity, try out the effects like firework, party Thanks, light. Gentlemen. Who's down for partying? Another cool thing is the music. So you can also sync it to the music. So you can see as I talk, syncs up with the light, which can be cool for parties. Who doesn't like parties, right? So this is a really cool way to control your lights from a distance, not having to use the onboard controls on the panel lights. If you're someone who shoots like product videos or does a lot of outdoor or indoor shootings, these are nice portable lights that you can easily bring along. They also come with a case and you can also get additional accessories like a softbox and grid to further control your light. Now, one thing to mention is that when we're filming with, you know, different light sources, uh, you want to use a professional video app like Filmic Pro because unfortunately on the default camera app, you can control the white balance. You can lock it, but you can't set the color temperature, which makes it really hard to uh, have a consistent look in your video. So with Filmic Pro, I'm able to set the color temperature to 5,600 and keep that temperature consistent throughout filming. All right, let's quickly go over the camera settings. So like I mentioned, I'll be using Filmic Pro version seven as this gives me full control over my camera. And I've set the resolution to 4K 60 frames per second. 4K provides me with the highest resolution possible and 60 frames per second allows me to slow down the footage. The ISO is set to 800 and the shutter speed is set double the frame rate, which is one over 120. This gives me uh, a natural looking motion blur when filming and the white balance is locked as well at 5,600 Kelvin since the key light is set to 5,600 Kelvin. I've also enabled the audio in case I need to use some of the sound that was captured through the phone. And for the picture profile, I'm using the natural looking one. You could also go for the log, but with the natural picture profile, I find it easier to see what's happening since everything is more saturated and and has contrast, the flat picture profile, in my opinion, a little bit more difficult 
to operate with. But actually with the new Filmic Pro version, you can apply a LUT, which I don't have currently. And you can also set it to preview, which will make it easier uh, for you to shoot afterwards. But for now, I'll just set it to natural, which looks great too. And another important thing is that when you're shooting handheld, you might want to enable stabilization which is set to standard. And as for the focus, I've set it to auto, as you can see over here. You can also double tap on it to move it around, but I prefer to set it in auto as the autofocus does a really good job at finding focus. So yeah, with that said, let's have some fun and shoot that cinematic B-roll sequence. So the first shot we're gonna create, Brian's gonna spill the coffee beans and I'm gonna put the camera upside down so we have more foreground when I push out with the camera. Three, two, one, go. Nice, perfect. So for this shot, we're using the selfie camera. And in this shot, Brian's gonna pour the coffee beans. It's gonna be a POV shot. So this will be interesting. We're gonna start recording. Yeah, start from there and go. Nice. Again, we're gonna continue on the previous shot where he pours the coffee beans into the blender. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so you're gonna put it, yeah, you're gonna like close it. Three, two, one. Perfect. Three, two, one, go. So in this shot, Brian's gonna use the press and I'm gonna create a push forward shot as he does it. Three, two, one. Nice, that was cool. So the next shot is gonna be pretty cool. We're gonna do a POV perspective. And for that, I'm gonna use the ultra wide angle lens and I'm gonna place my camera over here and I'm also gonna lock the focus. Three, two, one, go. Nice. So my brother had a good idea. We're actually gonna reverse the shot because it's easier to create. Three, two, one, go. Cool. So Brian's gonna playfully place the cup into the machine and let's see how that goes. Three, two, one, go. Ooh, I almost had that. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. No. <laughs> Three, two, one. That was good. Three, two, one, go. So for the coffee, we will also be needing milk. And I'm just gonna follow the movement as he pours the milk into this can. All right, let's try that. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. So this is the second last take. He's now gonna pour the milk into the coffee and maybe he can make a nice pattern. We'll see. Three, two, one, go. Two, one, go. <laughs> okay, so this is our last shot. As you can see, we did a little bit of decoration just to make the ending shot look really nice. I'm gonna do a push in with my camera and Brian's gonna serve the coffee to me. Three, two, one, go. Coffee. 
So now that we have all of the shots together, let's now look at the final edit. All right, guys, there you have it. I hope you like that cinematic B-roll coffee sequence that I just showed you. And also big thanks to my brother for helping out in today's video. Now, if you guys are interested in the colors I used to create that cinematic coffee B-roll shot, I will leave a link to my premium mobile LUTs in the video description below. Now, other than that, I'm really happy with the setup that allowed us to create this beautiful scene. Being able to, you know, control your light the way you want, you can create a certain look and just make your videos pop more. So I highly suggest if you have a coffee machine at home and have someone who can help you out, try and make a cinematic B-roll sequence for yourself. You can use a coffee machine. You can also, you know, cook spaghetti, whatever it is. Just try out different camera movements to start practicing and improving your smartphone filmmaking skills. For those who are new to this channel, if you like this video, give us a like button and subscribe. Yeah. Now guys, if you're interested and want to learn how to shoot cinematic and professional looking videos, I have a course called smartphonefilmmaking.com where I teach you everything I know on smartphone filmmaking. You can check out the link in the video description below. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment as well. And I'll see you guys the next time. Nah, that wasn't good. Come on, a real one. <laughs>